All right, all my little babies out there. Just to be clear, I don't want you getting upset. I'm not calling you a baby. You're my bay bays. Bay bays, like my name. All right, I'm going to work through this. I am not going to. Okay, I'm just going to go fast. Be one of the fastest work throughs I do. But I know it's tough. I want you guys to have this information. Okay? So here we have 3, 3, and 7. What are we going to do? How do we figure this out? 3 plus 3 is 6. That's less than 7. Not going to work. Um, type yes or no for each answer. Okay. 3 plus 3 is 6. Not going to work. 5, 5, 5, all the same number? Yes. 3.2 and 5.3. If I add those together, I would get 8.5. That is equal. Equal is not enough. I just posted the lesson video, so you can go watch the lesson if you need to. Over here, 5.4 and 3.6, that's 8.6. That is more than, this one is a yes. Let's go. 11, 11, and 21. Well, 11 plus 11 is 22. That's good enough for me. Yes. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 is more than 5. Yes. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 is not more than 1. No. And 15 plus 25 is 40. Yes. Done. Next set. Determine the range of values. I went over, like I, like I said, watch the video if you need a lesson. I'm going fast. 5 and 6, subtract them. The low end is 1. Add them. The high end is 11. 11 and 4, subtract them, the low end is 7, the high end is 15. 1 half and 14 ninths, so 14 ninths minus 1 half. Okay, make a big fraction. Common denominator is 18. 9 times 2, so 14 times 2. 2 times 9, so 1 times 9. 28 minus 9 is 19 over 18. Change that to a plus... 28 plus 9 would be 37 over 18. Wait, 2 times 9, 1 times 9, yeah. So 28 plus 9 would be 37 over 18. Got it. All right, challenge question. We talked about this. We have to first pretend this is the, the biggest one. So if that's the biggest one, well... Let's do it this way. Make that the biggest one. So 3x plus 10 plus 5x minus 6 has to be greater than 11x minus 5. That must be true. Let's solve this out. That would be 8x plus 4 must be greater than 11x minus 5. So 3x must be less than 9. x must be less than 3. Must be true. x must be less than 3. What's the next situation that must be true? Let's pretend this one's the biggest one. So 3x plus 10 plus 11x minus 5 must be greater than 5x minus 6. So this would be 14x plus 5 must be greater than 5x minus 6. So 9x must be greater than negative 11. x must be greater than negative 11 over 9. That must be true. Third possible situation. Let's make this one the biggest one. 5x minus 6 plus 11x minus 5 must be greater than 3x plus 10. So 16x minus 11 must be greater than 3x plus 10. So minus 3, 13x must be greater than 21. x must be greater than 21 thirteenths. So all these things must be true, guys. And if all three things must be true, what ultimately has to be true? So let's think about what I was doing earlier. If I had these bars, so we have a bar at 3, we have a bar at 21 over 13, and we have a bar at negative 11 ninths. And I have to be, here, here I am at, here I am, X. I have to be bigger than the two low ones, but less than three. So when I jump, I have to clear the two low ones and be under three. Well, if I just clear the bottom one, could I still hit this one? Yes. So just being bigger than this is not enough. That's not enough. I got to clear all of that 
So I have to overall, I have to be bigger than 21 over 13, but smaller than 3. And there's my answer. How we feel about that? Yeah? Good. Next situation, I give you one, two, three angles of a triangle. Those have to add up to 180. That hasn't changed. So I'm just going to add them up real fast. I know you guys can do this. Three, four, five. That would be five. That would be 11 halves. X. The 40s cancel out. Plus 15 equals 180. So 11X plus 30 equals 360. 11X equals 330. X equals... Um, 30. All right. So if X is 30, and I know you guys can get that, that the three angles had to add up to 180. That's all I did. So if X is 30, let's plug it in. 30 times a half is 15 plus 15. Well, this would be, this would go back to 30. 30 times 2, 60 minus 40. 60 minus 40 would be 20. 90 plus 40 would be 130. Make sure it adds up to 180, and it does. It says list the sides from biggest to smallest. So if it's, it's called triangle how? If W is the biggest angle, then HO is the biggest side. H is the next biggest, so OW is the next biggest, leaving us with HW. That's the order. The biggest angle produces the biggest side. All right, next one. This is a troublesome one. I told you it's guaranteed to be on your test. So here I have this triangle. Focusing on just the black triangle, this corner would be 70. And we are going from smallest to biggest. The smallest one would be TE. The second one would be ST. And the middle one would be... I mean, and the biggest one would be SE. So for the black triangle, this must be true. TE is the smallest side. On the orange triangles, 80 and 70 is 150. This corner has to be 30. From smallest to biggest, smallest would be TB. Middle would be BE. And biggest would be TE. So if we are going smallest to biggest overall... Um, the overall order is TB, BE, TE, ST, SE. Well, that's the overall order. Here I have a perimeter and I have sides. Well, sides have to add up to the perimeter. So if I add these three together, I get 18X, I get 31, I get 30, 53, 53 minus 25, I get 28. And that has to equal 244, right? Add the sides together, get the perimeter. I'm just going to type this in. 244 minus 28, I get 18x equals 216. Divided by 18, I get x equals 12. So this would be 91. This would be 46. And I don't want to mess up, so I'm going to type it in, and this would be 107. I'm going to confirm that it works. 107 plus 46 plus 91 equals 244. Nice. So it's called triangle talk. And the biggest one is OK. So the biggest angle would be T. The middle one is TO. So the, smallest, uh, the middle angle would be K. And the smallest one is TK, so the smallest one would be O. Oh man, I'm running low on time. Hinge theorem, I'm, I'm definitely going fast, guys. We've got a shared side here. So the smaller angle produces the smaller side. I know that 4X minus 7 is smaller than X plus 20. So 3X is less than 27, X is less than 9. That's an upper limit. What is the lower limit? Well, that we don't know any side lengths, but we know that sides can't be zero. And if they were shrinking, right? I showed you this before. If they're shrinking, who disappears first? Um, the smaller person would disappear first. So 
the smaller side is going to disappear first. I got to make sure that the smaller side is more than zero. So 4x is more than 7. x has to be more than 7 fourths. I'm going to make sure I got that right. Yes. I got to go real quick here, guys. Here, bigger side, bigger angle. 6x plus 6 is bigger than x plus 16. 5x would have to be bigger than 22. X would have to be bigger than 22 fifths. I feel like I messed up. 6x plus 6 x plus 16 i did mess up so sorry i need to subtract six that'd be 10 x is greater than two i only know i messed up because i did this problem earlier so x must be bigger than two but guys what's the upper boundary these are angles angles cannot be 180 the bigger angle would hit 180 first so we have to confirm that 6x plus 6 is less than 180. So 6x is less than 174, so x must be less than 29. And last one, real quick, what's the bigger side? 64. So 30 minus 2x is bigger than 4x plus 12. So 6x is less than 18 x is so x is less than 3 x must be less than 3 that's an upper boundary what's the lower boundary which one would disappear first they're shrinking 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 who would be gone first the smaller one so 4x plus 12 i need to make sure it doesn't disappear it must stay bigger than zero. In order for it to stay bigger than zero, it has to be bigger than negative three. Right, plug in negative three. This would be negative 12 plus 12, that's gone. It can't be negative three, it can't be smaller than negative three. It has to be bigger than negative three.